Fred Hutchinson, you were a first-class pitcher when you were a player. Do you ever try to change a pitcher style? Uh, not unless uh, we can see something drastically wrong in it, Cliff. Uh, we try and let a fellow go along because no two pitchers pitch alike. I think it's the same thing as any other game. Uh, no two people can do it the same. They have their own way of doing it, so you would rather let them go along on their own until they prove that they can't do it that way. Then possibly you may change it. Uh, do you ever uh, consciously face the problem of trying to make a pitcher over into your image? I say that because uh, you are a successful pitcher. No, I don't like to do that because uh, uh, unless a fella happens to be the same type of pitcher you were. I was a short arm pitcher. Not all pitchers are short arm, and uh, I didn't have the good fastball. I had to rely more on control and changing of speeds. So uh, it has to take a fella that's uh, very similar to myself before I would even uh, attempt to try and do that. When you were a pitcher, the uh actual captain of the team the fellow who actually ran the team on the field was the catcher and you as a pitcher had a close relationship with the catcher now who knows better when to take out uh, the pitcher the catcher or the field manager well of course uh, you have your own ideas on that as as far as a manager goes lots of times uh, a catcher uh, would like to see the pitcher finish and do the job uh, it might be friendly it might be uh, that he doesn't like to take that uh, burden upon himself so I don't rely too much on a catcher I th try and study the pitcher and see when he's uh, losing his stuff you might say or that uh, they're catching up with him either one or the other and uh, then you judge accordingly when you walk out to the mound to replace a pitcher is your mind made up or is there ever a time where you discuss it with the catcher or discuss it with the pitcher no, I make up my own mind. I don't like to uh, put a burden, as I said before, on the mm -hmm. catcher or anyone else. If I feel that the uh, pitcher is, uh, is having his troubles or maybe a change will be the best for all concerned, why, well, I make the change, and I make it up before I get to the mound. Uh, Fred Hutchinson, you're one of baseball's better managers. What makes a good manager? Well, of course, that uh, Cliff, you always wonder about that yourself, uh, how successful. I think that the players, first of all, make a manager successful. Uh, however, I believe that a manager has to get along with his players, and uh, then I uh, believe of handling the pitchers has certain percentage in there, and then the overall play, uh, which is strategy. Uh, I don't base too much on strategy because I think that most managers play it according to the way it's supposed to be played. You mean according to percentages? Percentages, yes. Well, except that in your case, uh, I say this sincerely, you're not just another manager. You've proven this. Uh, you've proven this with other ball clubs. I remember in 1957 when you almost made me a genius. You were managing the St. Louis Cardinals, and I picked the cards to win, and, and you almost did. Now, in getting along with players, uh, it takes quite a bit for a fellow to make the team, to make the roster, uh, whether he's one of 25 or 40, whichever time of year it is, but they are 25 different personalities. How do you weld them together into one team? Well, you, as I say, you try and get along with the players. Now, there's some that uh, need... Uh, help and uh, need confidence and there's others that uh, sometimes you have to set down on them they get uh, carried away uh, with their importance probably and you have to you more or less have to treat the individual as as they come and I don't like to uh, say that it's, it takes a great deal to do it it's just a little patience and trying uh, and understanding of the player themselves well of course this self-effacement is not quite accurate it's not as simple as that but Hutch as a manager uh, can a player come to a manager with personal problems well I uh, certainly believe they should because I think the manager is more concerned than anyone else if uh, one of the players has a personal problem or any other kind of problem I think that he should feel free to come to the manager because the manager will do everything he can do to help the player uh, going back to last fall in the World Series when you almost won the World Series uh, is there anything that you would 
do differently if you had an opportunity to replay the 1961 World Series? Well, Cliff, there isn't a great deal I could do. We, uh, when we went into the series, we felt that if uh, we could get good pitching against the Yankees, that we have a good uh, chance to win the series. We got the good pitching, all except for the last game. We didn't hit, and there isn't much you can do about it except to say that you uh, give the credit to the Yankee pitching or that you were in a little slump or lost your momentum after you won the pennant. But uh, I, I couldn't see anything differently that could have been done. Well, here we are in 1962. Let's look ahead to this season. How do you figure your Cincinnati Reds will do? Well, of course, we enter this uh, spring training and the 62 season optimistically. We have a young ball club. I think that last year the uh, 61 seri- uh, season did a great deal for our ball club. We were in a pennant uh, race all the way. It was close. We proved that we could uh, handle the pressure that was presented to us. I just believe that our ball club has not reached its potential, that we're, some of our players are young yet and have two or three more years before they're going to reach their potential. And I believe that we can go on from here and do another fine job this year. Of course, saying that we're going to win the pennant uh, is a hard thing to say. In our league, we have uh, half a dozen good ball clubs that are very uh, well balanced, and our league is well balanced. and. It's difficult for a club to repeat, as has been shown in the past. However, we are the club to beat. We won the pennant last year, and we have every reason to believe that we'll do as well again this year. Uh, Fred Hutchinson, uh, there's a phrase used on occasions. The phrase is that he's a hungry ball player. Uh, is there any substance to that phrase? Well, uh... I, I can't go along with that. I have seen great ball players that remain great. Here's a fellow like Musial that's 42 years old, 41, and uh, Spawn, the same thing in our league. And uh, I can name others in the American League that are nearly of that age that they're, uh, they're still hungry and they're still the highest paid in the league. And uh, these fellows are, are determined. They're... Uh, aggressive they they want to do the job they have a great deal of pride in their work and i think that that's the important thing is the pride in their work i think anyone should feel that they are going to do the best that they can and are determined that they're going to do it well there you have the views of one of baseball's superior managers fred hutchinson of the cincinnati reds who last year was in the world series and this year hopes to be there again this is cliff evans reporting